Hello and welcome back. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to install the MedTrader 4 terminal and open a demo account. Today, we're going to learn how to navigate the trading platform. So I've got the MetaTrader 4 platform open in front of me. Let's have a look what it's got. So right away in front, you've got a chart and most likely your chart is, got, is black in color. Um, and that happens when you open up a new chart by default, they're black. So we'll have a look at how to change the color in a minute as well. Um, up at the top, we've got a uh, panel, which most programs have. Um, then we've got some toolbars over here. Um, on the left, we've got a market watch window. Then we've got a navigator window below that. And then at the bottom, we've got a whole panel of windows, which are trade, exposure, account history, news, and so on. Um, and of course, in the middle, we have the main chart. So let's start with, um, with the chart. How do we open a new chart? Right now we've got the Euro dollar one hourly time frame chart open. Let's see how we open a new one. Well, in the market watch, we right click on the current pair that we want to see and we click chart window and the window pops up. As you can see, the window is right away black and that's the default color for MetaTrader 4. You can change that uh, very easily. Right click on the chart, go to properties and color scheme and then change it to whichever one you want. You can specify your own scheme on the right here. Uh, then we'll click OK and we've got the chart. So next also we can go to properties, common, and if we uncheck the show grid, we won't see the grid in the background because it can be distracting at times. So that's good. By default, as you can see, the chart that was open is the British pound dollar one hourly time frame chart. So how do we change the time frame of the chart? Well, this panel over here, let's get it done and dusted right away. Um, it tells you which um, time frame of the chart you have opened and you can change the time frame by simply clicking. And as you can see, as I click, uh, the chart changes and adjusts, adjusts to the right time frame. Sometimes uh, data has to be loaded and you'll get this uh, warning message. All right, while that's loading, let's have a look at, um, let's have a look at the other panels. Um, so we've talked about the market watch. On the bottom here, we've got a tick chart if you want, but that's when the market op is open because it's Saturday, we can't see anything here. But generally here you can see uh, every single tick that comes uh, for this currency pair. So let's go back. Uh, the navigator is an interesting uh, one as well. You can change your accounts here. It, once you've uh, entered them at least once, um, you've got some indicators here which you can drag onto your chart. Let's, uh, for example, drag a random uh, not that one. Let's try this one. This one's pretty. This indicator, as you can see right away, we've got an indicator on the chart. And this indicator probably will look better on the black and white. Uh, sorry, on the green and black. See, it's, uh, it's a really pretty indicator there. Uh, you can drag. Let's do one that we are familiar with. So, so in the trend, we've got moving average. We drag it onto the chart. Specify the width so we can see it. And there you can see our moving average is there. If you want to delete an indicator, right click it and click delete indicator. Okay, so we've got the moving average. As you can see, everything is pretty simple. It's very easy to get around here. Um, all the indicators are here. Expert advisors, so I, I wouldn't advise using these because these are the default ones and they're not very good. They'll just lose your money. So probably don't even look in there. Scripts, um, just uh, also not at this stage. We don't need any scripts right now. Um, okay, so what have we got next? At the bottom, you've got your account state. Uh, for example, any open trades will be in the trade tab. Uh, exposure is a new tab in uh, the recent builds of MetaTrader 4. Um, so it tells you once you have open trades, which currencies you're exposed to. Account history, it's got some um, just general, basically, trades that you've already conducted, if you have conducted any and so on. So the news, um, alerts, mailbox, market, you can explore those. They're not, not that important for your trading. Maybe the journal is important because it tells you exactly what's happening on your charts and um, what is um, like if there's any take profits or stop losses and so on. So that's maybe an important tab as well. All right, so let's move over to the top now. At the top, we've got the file window, file menu. I don't really use that. It basically doesn't have anything uh, helpful except for open accounts. So if you want to 
open an account, open a new account, you can open one here. Or if you want to log into an account, you can log in into account uh, here if you have your credentials and you have your server. Uh, just basically log into account and it will appear over there. Um, next, uh, the view. This one might be useful for you if you're uh, from a different country and your base, uh, your home language is not English. You just basically use any language, and they've got a big variety, big selection of languages here. Um, next, so in view, anything else? No, we'll talk about all of these just now. Uh, then insert, you can insert indicators this way as well. So the most recent ones, I think, over here. And then you can pick in the same way as we just did. You can pick uh, the indicators from here. You can also insert other things like lines. Um, but we also will talk about that in, in the panels down here. Insert lines, channels, like different elements of analysis, technical analysis. Uh, maybe the only one that, that is useful from here is shape. So if you want to insert a rectangle, you can. And then if you double click it and then you go to properties, you can change the color if you want. Uh, if you want to highlight something on your chart. Um, so I'll just delete that. It's distracting. So insert charts. Actually don't use this one because all of these options are actually available here and we'll talk about them. Tools. Uh, this is an important one. So your options, your terminal options are here. And um, you can set these up if you want. Um, I actually don't... Think you need to adjust anything here maybe change your account server if you need to but once again you can do that in the menu we looked at previously okay and uh, history center that's if you want to upload history uh, or change it so we're not going to look at that we're not going to look at any of those window um, to be honest this one can help can help you tile your windows like if you click you have a several several windows open and they're messy you just click here and you click like tile windows and as you can see they're right away adjusted into a nice neat fashion or you can tile them like this or you can uh, tile them whichever way you want um, and help there's always the help topics if you get stuck with the client terminal there's some really good uh, instructions on how to get around and topics that will help you find your way Okay, so we'll finish uh, to, off today because this tutorial is getting quite long. And in the next tutorial, we'll talk about these elements of the navigation over here in the quick panels. Okay, I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy trading.